Okay, so I'm recording this uh, presentation uh, Zoom meeting I'm using so I can share my screen. And I'm gonna go over how I come up with comps, how I do a CMA. So it's, uh, the internet is now working for me. So I'm gonna go to my, I'm gonna share my screen. And so the first thing I do, I kind of, it's really not cheating, but I kind of cheating. I'm going to do Rob. The address of the property is 304 Evelyn Court. So the first thing I do is I Google the address. It may, the home may already be listed. Uh, it may have been recently sold. So I could go in here. It's going to give me a street view. And that's the house. I have been by this house. So I'm going to kind of keep this as if I'm doing what I call a desktop evaluation. In other words, as if I hadn't been to the house yet. But that's so that I want to look at pictures if I could find them on the internet. Okay, I pull it back up. I'm gonna, this wrong machine. I'm gonna look, I want to see what Zillow says. And the reason you want to know what Zillow says, because our clients will know what Zillow says. So can't beat them, got to join them. What's the, the Zillow estimates? That's 530, so 535. Okay, I want to keep that number in my back pocket as I go through this. And what is Zillow doing? I mean, they're just doing what we're doing right now, and that's a desktop evaluation. So I've done my kind of Google search, my Zillow search. I go into the MLS. I'm going to back out because I already got it. Well, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So when I go into my MLS, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up. I'll back all the way out further. I'm going to pull up the tax records. Type in three four four. Because I just did it, it's still there. Search. Now Zillow actually will give you some of this information. But I'm still going to check in on the tax records. Excuse me. So I'm going to find out. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It doesn't really matter when it last sold. That was a while ago. 1446 square feet, built in 1963. It is a single family home. Yeah. The next thing I'll take advantage of is I'm going to, I like to get some market statistics and trends. So with our MLS, we have this trend graphic program. You know, it lets us do like a, get market stats for large areas. You can combine um, zip codes, you can go by county, you know, you can combine counties, individual counties, or even zip codes. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna, and this is 9567. Nine five six seven eight. That's it. Nine five six. Oh, 
right there. That's the zip code. So I'm gonna see if, I, how, if we can get some data just on that zip code. Show the graph. Okay, perfect. Now, when I look at trends, bigger, I like to look at a trend in real estate, compare the most recent quarter of this year and compare that quarter a year, 12 months ago. So the dark green is the number of sales in the last three months. This is the number of forced active homes. Kind of interesting, actually more homes, you know, homes are coming off the market. And going back a year, and then this is a pending trend. So what I start to see, well, it actually summarizes, again, if you go same quarter a year ago, the number of actual active homes is actually up 37%, okay? That's a change, maybe change to the market. But the number of closed sales is down about 9%. So we actually have closed less sales last three months of this year compared to a year ago, but we have more homes active. So are we starting to see, uh, and this does match countywide statistics, state, really statewide statistics, is the market maybe starting to cool? I would say yes. I think we're, we're going from maybe white hot to maybe just a red hot market. This graph here, price per square foot is pretty handy for me because you can see that, yep, in the last year, price per square foot has gone up. And yep, prices are up 20% in the last 12 months. That's incredible. So what's probably been going on? Prices have been going up. They're reaching a point where maybe less people can afford those. So there's just less buyers. I mean, you know, people's income is not going up 20%. And so it's just making it tougher to, to, to do the, uh, to get all the sales. So, so, so I do this mainly to give myself some background so that when I'm talking to the client, I get an idea of what's going on in the market. Now I'm going to do my, uh, I got to do a search. I'm going to start off to what we call a radius search. I have the address. 304. Now, if you think of like an appraiser, or when I've done broker price opinions, usually you like to try to get three active, a pending counts as an active, and three solds. So, I'm just gonna check. These are all the statuses, active to closed, defaults back, um, six months, that's actually maybe too much because the market's gone up so fast. Definitely want single family homes checked. How many are within a half a mile? Five. Trying to get a quick view of those. I can see right away, okay, this one's way high. Remember, I got that Zillow number, 535 as a backup. Okay, that's a much bigger. So now I'm going to go back. So we're going to start, to, I want to start to bracket to find the comps. So going back six months for an appraisal is okay. I definitely just want three bedrooms, two baths. I'm going to bracket my living space. We're at 1446. So I'm going to say I don't want nothing but 1200. To say, I'm going to say 1800. Start to bracket that before I know I need more. So I'm going to go further out. Half a mile. It's 
still not. Oh, yeah, sex. Just sex. I'm going to go out. Of course, I'm out. Ten. So you see how I bracketed that with three bedroom, two bath, 1,200 to 2,000 square feet. Remember, I want to, I haven't bracketed everything though, so I'm going to look at my results. So ideally, if you think like an appraiser, for if it's urban, if it's like a urban, like downtown SAC, you want your comp, say, within a quarter mile. To a half mile max. If it's suburban, Roseville would be definitely suburban. We're going to go maybe one mile, maybe out two miles areas. If it's rural, you may have to go out five miles or sometimes even more to find comparable homes. That's just for the area. I want my age ideally to be plus or minus 10 years. You know, there's a difference between a home that was built. You know, from the early 60s to early 70s to early 80s to now, definitely differences. You know, older homes just have eight foot ceilings. Now everything has 10, 12 foot ceilings. It's just, it's harder to compare those. And um, for, you know, age, again, plus or minus 10, 10 years, square footage, plus or minus 10%, maybe. Okay, plus or minus 10%. Lot size, I don't worry about lot size right away, okay? Because especially like in a rural area, you could have three acres that's unusable and you may have another house that has uh, a one acre and it's very usable, right? So you just can't go by size. So now I'm gonna start to look to see what I got here. So this one right away, this can be too small. This one on Grove, I'm going to look at it, but it's 600. So Grove Street, it's an older home. Um, it actually has a detached converted house behind it. So I know I got to be under 600 just because this is a bigger home, even though it's older, it's got a secondary dwelling unit with it. So I'm going to look at some of my pendings. These are both bigger. I want to see when this was built. And this is this home's nice, and I've seen this home actually, but it's older. So and it's pending. Maybe I've taken more. It's five twenty-five. It's older, but it's bigger and it's in nice shape. So now let me go over some of these. Always your closed comps, your closed homes can be your best. So we're at 14. Well, let's look at this one on Zola. This one is probably for the same square footage built the same year, 1963, probably is the same builder. Listed for 480, sold for 480, was only on the market four days, but it closed back in September, okay? So, Yeah, you know, so prices have kind of gone up since September, right? If that was 480, at least 5%, which would put it over 500. So I'm in my mind, I'm already starting to bracket. I know I got to be somewhere over 506. Zillow told me 535. Go back. I, now I'll look at some pictures here. The outside looks maintained. In this case, I did get to see the inside of the house. And although this one looks like it's not too bad, this is definitely original 1963. 
the house on Evelyn that I'm selling is probably the kitchen was remodeled sometime in the 80s. It's got tile and newer cabinets and newer, newer appliances. So that one gets on there. Let me go back here. Let's look at these last three. This one on uh, Maryland, this one closed. Was it, and it's older though, see, it's 49. So it's about the same size. It closed, it was listed for 499, sold for 550 back in October. Let me look at some of the pictures. The kitchen's always the, the big telling. And yep, I can just tell by the countertops, this has been a, a remodeled kitchen. So, okay, so I'm going back. Okay, this one closed at 550. Older home, same square footage, closed 550. Okay, 550-ish. So kind of in my mind. Go to the next one, 560. Okay, this one, Listed 565, closed 567, a little newer, 74, and was 16 is bigger. That's a bigger number too. So I'm like, mm, and I can tell, I can see the pictures better. And it has a remodeled kitchen. So, darn it. so this one here on the seal, ooh, 19, same year. Remember, this is within three quarters of a mile, a little bigger. Some interior pictures. Yeah, this one's definitely been remodeled. So they're at that one closed at five ninety five. So I'm thinking five fifty ish is pretty good. Uh, what I do is, if I'm going to, we'll talk about this more later. I want to show you another report. Um, what, what, I, what I do if I'm going to bring comps to a client, nowadays I actually bring my computer with me, but if I'm going to bring um, the report that I like to show people, for, I'll try to pick out no more than six. Ideally, three active, three sold, no more than six. I like the agent one page is what I like. Because it will give me a one pager. Plus with a hyperlink, I can look at all the pictures if I was. So what I'll do is a backup. I'll have PDF files on my computer, but ideally I'm gonna bring them into the MLS live. The other report that I wanted to show you, they call it the CMA report. For some reason, the portrait is never working on my computer right now, so I do a landscape. Okay, so this will summarize all those homes that you showed. They'll have your search criteria up in the top. And I'll start with this sheet when I do my presenting. It has days in the market. Another field here that is price per square foot. Okay, don't get too hung up with clients on that price per square foot, but use that as a guide. Okay, so 337. Pull my calculator. We're at 1446. That brings us, say, we should be at, at least 485. So sometimes, again, that's not a good number. But it'll give you some trends and help you bracket what you're doing. This is the days in the market. These three columns here are the ones that I like on this report. And I like to have to, but I should have to show this to people some time to time. What this is, is the original list price when they first put it in MLS. This is the list price when it actually closed. So in today's market, everything's selling quick. And if you look at the list price to close price ratio, it's over 100, it's 102%. 
Uh, but even in a almost any market, the actual close price is generally going to be within 2% of the final list price. And, and when you do this, I, you, you'll rarely see anything worse than about 96 to 98%. Again, not the original list price, but, and I use that to explain to people, not that, again in this market, but if they're trying to list their home too high, and I say, look, you know, when homes sell, they generally close at close to the list price within a couple percent. So anyways, hope that helps you. Again, start with doing a Google search, double check Zillow, go to the tax records, do the trend search if you want, then start to bracket it with a radius search, urban, quarter mile to a half mile, suburban, maybe out to one to two miles, rural, five miles plus, bracket your living area, plus or minus 10%, and then try to get the comps within uh, 10 years, but you know, with similar features and similar fit finishes with, if you can. Anyways, hope that helps, and I'll, I'll get this off to everybody. Have a great night.